hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my top five foundations for you all. I love foundation. Foundation is something that I truly love and I will invest money in it if I think it's worth the money. It takes a lot to become a foundation favorite of mine. I have almost 50 foundations, so these foundations must be doing something right for me to think that they are so good. Um, so I'm not going to ramble on too much, but if you want to see my top five favorite foundations, then just keep watching. Okay, first foundation that I want to talk about is the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. I own three shades of this, and seriously, this foundation is phenomenal. It's great on its own, and it's great for mixing. I love it so, so much, and yeah, I love it so much. The only bad thing about this foundation is F100 that I'm holding up right here is the lighter shade in the whole entire range. If you are quite pale, this wouldn't match you at all, and if you're quite dark, they don't go that dark. They go tanned, but they don't go super dark. So it is quite a small range that you can kind of shop between. But a reason why I love this foundation so much is how it looks on the skin. It honestly just looks so beautiful and there's no other way to describe it. Like I'm wearing it today and every time that I wear this, I've never had any complaints with how my skin's looked or how it's made my skin feel. It doesn't make my skin dry, it doesn't make me feel overly hydrated either. It's just a happy, balanced, nice foundation. But yeah, absolutely amazing foundation. I buy mine off Look Fantastic and it's absolutely phenomenal. Sorry about that guys. So my memory card got full. Whoops. Anyway, so I want to talk about the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I don't want to talk about this for too long because I think, rumor has it, this is being discontinued. I am terrified that this can be discontinued, but I love this foundation so incredibly much. It is amazing. It photographs beautifully. It's HD, apparently. It's just so, so ridiculously beautiful. I own two shades. It's phenomenal. It lasts a long time. It photographs amazingly. Buildable coverage, medium to buildable coverage, and it's just so, so beautiful. Again, no SPF in this one either. This is my favorite drugstore foundation. I've had this in my life for about two years now, I think. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique foundation. I have two shades of this also. I absolutely adore this foundation. It is so, so beautiful. It makes you look so glowy. It doesn't last the best, but it does last okay. Um, it's so ridiculously beautiful. I don't think it's the best for mixing, just because I don't think it has the texture to actually mix things good, like mix things as good as say the X1 does, but it is still a very, very beautiful foundation. And if I want a drugstore foundation, this is definitely the one that I lean towards. It's just so beautiful. Estee Lauder Double Wear, I absolutely adore this foundation. I adore all of these foundations. It's so, so amazing. The only bad thing to this is you have to purchase a pump. This is just the standard MAC pump, and I've just whacked it on the top. I absolutely adore this. I have two shades and I actually have a third one back there as well. This is amazing. I personally don't have any issues with flashback. Some people do. This has an SPF of 10. Oh, sorry. I forgot to mention the L'Oreal that has an SPF of 18. This one has an SPF. Oh my God. Cockatoos. So this has SPF 10 apparently. Um, oh my goodness. I'm sorry if you can hear cockatoos. They're not mine. My cockatoo doesn't sound like that. He's a little cutie. Um, but anyway, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, it's astonishing. The only bad thing is there's too many colors in the range and I kind of get a bit hesitant when I buy them only because I get so overwhelmed with all these shades and oh my goodness. But yeah, a really, really beautiful foundation. It's not too thick, but it does give amazing coverage. It's really, really beautiful. It's not as thick as, say, Kat Von D Tattoo Locket, but it's not super, super thin like, say, the L'Oreal Older Tint Foundation. And lucky, lucky last, this is probably the only foundation out of all these that I've mentioned that I haven't actually done a proper review on my channel for. But I will do this one soon. This is on my to-do list. This is the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. It does come with a, hold on, it does come with a concealer. It's just like a little dinky thing in the lid. Like it comes like this but I never use this, so that just kind of sits on the table. Um, but the foundation itself, oh my God, it's so, so good. If I don't use the HD foundation and I'm not using the X one 
and I'm going out, I'm using this. This is amazing. There's a little spoon, what the foundation comes out on. This is the only one that doesn't have a pump, but seriously, it is so, so beautiful. I only own one shade of this, but I do want to get a few more because it's so, so beautiful on the skin. Um, I do find that it does make me a little bit shinier, a little bit faster than the Makeup Forever HD or the um, EX1, but a light dusting of powder and it's good as new love it so much i love all these foundations i hope this video was helpful and i'm sorry that i started rushing it's just the sun is setting and my memory card's full and oh <laughs> but anyway i hope you guys thought this was of some use and i hope it was helpful definitely let me know what your favorite foundations are in the down bar below and yeah i hope you're having a wonderful day please don't forget to like and subscribe and even check out my social media links if you would like and i will see you very shortly bye